Hello, this is Lauren Delsack. What I like to do is take this a little bit deeper by going a little bit more in depth into studying the draconic chart alone and in synastry with your natal horoscope. The best way really for me to do that because we can just we can only go so far when we look into the horoscopes of famous people because we know little about their private life. So I'm going to be using my horoscope as an example so that I can show you in which directions I've explored in analyzing the draconic chart and the insights that I've come up with and how that's led me to highlighting what I think is most important when we work with the draconic chart. You know, one of the first things when I first discovered my draconic sun in Virgo and my moon in Capricorn, I mean, I really felt immediate recognition, like I had found my other half. It was almost as if there was part of me that seemed to be missing from my natal chart. 